AJ Styles' NWA title reign lasted only one month because he was never looked at as a long-term champion in the first place by those in power, even by those who love him. Styles won the title because he happened to be Jeff Jarrett's challenger during a month where Dixie Carter took a stand and wanted to assert her authority and have him drop the title. Styles maybe moved back to the X Division and feud with Samoa Joe. Monty Brown was considered for the NWA title win instead of Raven, but the feeling is management is so high on Brown, they didn't want his big title win to come too early before he was ready. Uh, uh, uh opinion they will hold until he leaves the company he is seen as a potential franchise player in a year though he has a rep for having a great attitude with just enough skepticism to keep everyone around him honest fuck you guys they're like oh you know we, we want to make the monty title win mean something we want to make it special you know when it would have been special oh when liam like three four months ago ah uh, yeah like and thing is i'm like I also kind of believe that AJ probably wasn't the right guy at mm. that point. But you had plenty of other opportunity. No, I'm firmly AJ was the guy. He's in the middle of the best run of his career. Just go with him. Best run of your career? Just having great matches on pay-per-view every month. The best run of his career? Probably like the best consistent pay-per-view match of his, of his career. Unless you're just being a New Japan fan. You're going to get mad at Dave. Uh, I'm just saying. Like, New Japan exists. <laughs> Yeah, fake company. Not real. Even though we'll be covering that on Raintaker like next year. But <laughs> fuck your dreams, fuck your life. I'll just put my hand in front of my eyes and be like, not real, <laughs> not real, no. <laughs> la 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 AJ Styles, uh TNA <laughs> Wrestling Sonny Siaki on a TNA weekly pay per view. I don't. Did he only. Did he wrestle Sonny Siaki? I'm sure he did at some point. He probably did. There's no way of knowing. You, 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 I'm going to research this. <laughs> you got to look up the AJ Siaki matches. I can't remember yeah. an AJ Siaki match, but I imagine he may, he might have. He wrestled him on NWA Wildside TV. That's not TNA. I know, but it's fun, isn't it? He wrestled the Flying Elvises. Yeah, that was the first match in TNA history. I know that counts. <laughs> Elvis Siaki counts, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Um, wow, they have never had a single... Yeah, get fucked! <laughs> the one person in the entire company <laughs> I could reach for. And you picked the one dude who's never wrestled AJ one-on-one. They, they probably have a pretty good match. Siaki would probably still have a job in TNA if he wrestled AJ once. It really, it depends on which, uh, which Siaki comes out. Yeah, but he'd throw AJ around. Did he wrestle Jorge in a one-on-one? Or AJ would demand he throw him around. Hey, you wanna you wanna hear a throwback? Sure. AJ Styles versus Crimson Dragon versus Jorge Estrada. Oh, what an era! Crimson Dragon's gear. Can we can we restart? <laughs> <laughs> can we go back? Yeah, can we go back? Uh, these are the days you have nostalgia for. I truly do not. Uh, but the funny thing is, like they say, Monty is a franchise player in a year. Uh, he's actually gone in a year. So. Uh... <sighs>